there is something that you've been missing out all the time. I don't know whether you know this, that financial freedom is your birthright. I repeat, financial freedom is your birthright. And you should grab it as early as this. You should just grab it right now. And this is exactly what you're supposed to do to acquire it. By the way, probably I'm not, I'm not going to write a lot on this board. Today, on this video, I just want us to have a discussion and explain to you what I mean by the financial freedom is your birthright. So don't behave, you know, in, in a naive way or naive way or something. Also. Listen, see, what is a financial freedom? Because that is not a standard name that can actually mean anything and everything to everyone. No, see, financial freedom to me is not to you. First of all, define what is financial freedom to you, someone will be like, by the way, have you ever seen some people who sell everything that they own? Property, cars, whatever, they buy them a motorbike and they are a couple and they decide to travel the world? Maybe that's what it means by the financial freedom. So don't accuse them. Oh my goodness, you are so stupid. You're not supposed No, to them, that is a financial freedom. There are people who say, you know what? My financial freedom is when I can just go build myself a retirement home somewhere close in up country and I have some rental houses running somewhere. Money is coming in. I have myself a manager who manages of my rental income and I'm just relaxing, eating and enjoying. I was watching Lynn Googie show, you know, beautiful lady. And I love her shows, by the way. You can tag her along. Anyway, she was saying that her financial freedom means her having a yacht movement you know she's moving from one place to the other you know in a yacht and something of sort you know she they were having a conversation with a certain individual there so the point is what is your financial freedom what does it mean to you how can you acquire how can you access it how can you go ahead and actualize that specific thing all right so i always tell people do this okay close your eyes visualize it just figure out where you want to be for example let's say financial freedom means if you can actually be earning three hundred thousand kenyan shillings that is three g's us dollars Without you doing nothing, you just have some systems that are bringing in that cash. That is now your financial freedom. Now the question is, you go to your future, all right, and say, hey, guess what? I'm 30 years old. By the time I'm clocking 50, for example, I'm just drawing random numbers. Let's say 40. 10 years from today, that's what I mean. See, I want to have myself something that is earning me a million shilling each and every month. And I don't have to be there so that I can travel the world, so that I can move from one place to the other. Maybe your financial freedom means you having the capacity to help the needy, to go support them, build their churches and mosques and what have you and help people. Maybe that's what you mean by financial freedom. So define your financial freedom. And let me tell you how you can achieve it. See, now when you know what you need when... Come on, when you know what you need, when, then you come back to the present. Then ask yourself, okay, fine, fine. In 10 years time or 20 years time, I want to be earning this amount of money. Then you ask yourself, okay, fine. So if for me to earn, uh, to have a system that is earning me a million shilling each and every month without doing nothing, I need to have a 100 million in investment, for example. I need to have myself 100 million in investment. If I'm getting an average of 10% return per annum, then I'll be earning myself 10 million each and every what? Okay, uh -huh, okay. So if then that is what I need, then you come back to your present. Then ask yourself, how much am I earning? Okay, I'm earning 100,000. I'm earning 40,000. Okay, then out of that what I'm earning, when I cater for the basic needs, I cater for my food, the utilities, the school fees, you know, black tax because, hey, welcome to Africa, and other things, how much am I left with? I'm left with 15,000, or I'm left with 20,000, or I'm left with 100,000. Okay, okay. And then, how much do I need to save a month so that in at least in 10 years' time from now, I can have 100 million that I need? Okay, I need to have myself 50,000. And how much I'm saving so far? 30,000. So I'm short by 20,000. Hmm, amazing. Now, how do I get that extra 20,000 that I do not have? Actually, you go back to your budget and check on how you spend your money. Okay, I misuse my money on coffees. I misuse my money on unnecessary outings and dates. I misuse my money on the maybe I have a gas lacquer here which does not even make me money in any way. I do have myself some other liabilities. My lifestyle is affecting me. So if I cut here and here and here and here, I've salvaged the 20000 that I need. Or you do all your salvage, salvable amount and then you realize I may not be able to reach that 50000 that I need to save each and every month. So what do you do? Two things here. Yeah? You either adjust the time 
when you want to achieve that goal or you literally adjust the goal. If you need 100 billion, you can bring it to 90 or something. Like, just be real to yourself. And the moment you understand who you are, the mission that you are in, who you're created for, I mean, for, for okay, the purpose of your life, the zeal, the motivation, the talent, the abilities, the, the, you know, all those things that you have in yourself, you work towards acquisition of that specific thing. You know what happens most of the people? They just have a vague goal. Just a vague thing. A vague is, is, is this thing. Yes, yes. By the way, if you pick anybody randomly in town and grab them asking, hey, good morning, sir. How are you? What's your name? Oh, my name is Jack. Oh, okay, Jack. What is your goal? Do you have a goal, Jack? Yes, I do have a goal. I would like to own a home. Okay, Jack, blah, blah. Just pick anybody randomly in town. Just recover. Just like we all have a head. Everyone has a, a vision, has an idea. But the problem is, most of those goals, most of those, no, no, not, not really goals, those visions and dreams and what have you, they're just vague. They have not been quantified. So if you quantify, the quantification part of this is quite important. So once you quantify, quantify it, then you can be able to know the extra step that you need to do. Now, the moment you realize that, that's the moment that you have 3,000 in your pocket. You're about to buy something in impasse buy. And then you remember, oh my goodness, whoo, my mission is to save 50,000 per month. Wow, this 2,000 can actually help me somewhere. So you delay that gratification. Let's say you're about to buy something that you really don't need it. Well, I'm not arguing about the food, obviously. I'm arguing the things that you find them. Hmm, these are nice to have things. These are good to have things. It's not really a need. It's just a want. But at the time before you actually hand over that 2,000, you ask yourself, hmm, how will this affect me saving that 50,000 that I need to do for the sake of 10 years that I'm looking at it from now for me to actualize that financial freedom? And let me tell you one secret. Whatever God he is, by the way, I'm not preaching. I'm just telling the truth. Whatever God he is, I don't think he thinks or he wants us to suffer. I don't think he needs us to, you know, you know, struggling and what have you. I believe he wishes good. I, I believe he would like us to utilize the talents, the God-given talents and the abilities that we have and also pursuing our purpose so that we can be able to go ahead and achieve that what we want. And remember one thing, the moment you pursue your purpose, the moment you pursue that what you were created for, you're actually enjoying doing the thing and we pay you doing that specific thing. You may not be a football fan. I love to give this example, but you can just strain to understand what I'm talking about. Can you imagine these great prayers, uh, great players that we see them or watch them during the weekends, whether on the EPL, the Italian League, or whatever the thing it is, or that game that you love most. Olympics just ended, I, by the way. I'm making this video 2024 of August. Olympics just ended. We enjoyed those people running. They were enjoying themselves, doing the vols, doing the decathlon, doing the marathon, doing whatever they were doing. They were enjoying it. And at the end of the race, guess what? We paid them. Yeah, that's the beauty thing or the beautiful thing about you pursuing your goal, going for your purpose, so that at least you can be able to not only enjoy the process, but as well, be able to acquire that what you call the financial freedom. So financial freedom is that term that most of the people tend to misuse it because they do not understand what it means. So financial freedom simply means you understanding what you need, when, and why. See, when you get that financial freedom, what do you intend to do with the time that you'll get in extra? Because literally, and you can check this, whether you come from sixth world or the first world, the fact remains people are caught up in this rat race where they work, eat, sleep, wake up, go back to work, eat, sleep, go back to, like that. The moment you realize you are 30 years old, they are 50, you're 80, you're 100, you're gone. You faded away, you're wasted, all right? So what happens that you're supposed to understand is this. If you want to step aside or sideline yourself from the rat race that people are doing it, then you have to create your solver system. And I love to give this analogy. Look at it from the lenses of, it's like we usually have this big river that is the water flowing constantly at all the time. And we all show up to that river to quench our thirst. And there are people who show up to the river. They do whatever they're supposed to do. You scoop the water. Let's say the scooping of the water is the working. And the water that you get, the wages and the rewards that you get after you exchanging your energy skills and time. You quench your thirst at that particular moment. You go back home. And then another thirst comes in. You show back to the river. You scoop your ma Yeah, I was about to say money. <laughs> you scoop your water. You drink it. You quench your thirst. You go back. So if you continue doing that back and forth, back and forth, that is simply you relying on that amount of money that you've been paid. But if you look at it like this, how about I make a tributary? I will take time making a tributary and channel it towards my home, whereby I can just be drinking it 
from my home. I don't have to show up to the river each and every day. So look at it from that perspective. So I'll need to make myself a tributary and channel that water towards my where I live so that I don't have to be coming here each and every day. Because me getting out of my home to this particular place, it is active. It's energy involved. That's why we call it active income. But if I channel this tributary towards my home, then I have my reservoir there. I can be drinking that water at any given moment. And guess what happens now? I can be able to employ people to take care of my tributaries and make sure that my, you know, my tributaries that is taking water to my place, it is actually okay and it's dirt free and I can enjoy myself throughout the life. Now, that's what we call financial freedom. It is not an easy journey. I did not promise it's an easy journey. I said, I know what you're saying, Joseph, it is easier said than done. Absolutely, it is easier said than done. Do not promise, I did not say it is easier done than said. What you're supposed to do is to commit yourself. No wonder only few people or few percentage of people on earth usually succeed. Three or four percent or thereabout. Those are the guys who succeed in life because you have to do that thing continuously, consistently, without giving up, you know, you know, with discipline and also having that understanding so that at least you can actualize that dream, that goal, that vision that you have and you can be working with it at all the time. You see, if you meet somebody who is a man on mission, they never waste their time. If they tell you, let's meet at 2 p.m., it's 2 p.m. It's nothing less, nothing less of 2 p.m. It's 2 p.m. Done, 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 done. But, but, you see, most of the people, they just walk. You misuse your time. You misuse your energy. You misuse your skills. And that's why you get arm twisted by anybody along the way. You meet somebody who was heading to the left. You turn from you, heading from the right. You, you, you get what I'm saying. Just be focused. Remain. Put your eyes on the goal. That's good, Joseph speaking. And that's why I say it. Financial freedom is your birthright. Anyone and everyone can achieve it, provided you do what the great people do. And it's not easy. It's not easy. Thank you. And see you in the next one.